called Boo My Food. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! Snow Day! Hey Chris! This must be the snow storm of the century! Yeah! It's freezing out here! Hey, snow creatures! It's wild out there! Wait, and what really amazes me is how animals can stay outside all winter long! It's incredible! Yeah, we saw a moose who was just standing around in the snow. But how does he stand the cold? And otters were just playing around like it was summer. As comfortable as can be. Yeah, now we humans need a lot of clothes to stay warm. And we need to live in heated houses. But some animals like polar bears spend the entire winter living outside in the snow. How do these creatures do it? I don't know. But I just thought of one animal who can't stand the snow. Zabu. Because lemurs are warm weather creatures. Sabu, you must have got here before the storm. You want a little rub down? Maybe that'll warm you up. There you go, buddy. Mmm, I've got a hot chocolate. But what would warm a lemur's belly? Something orange and yummy. Sweet potato, and I just had some. Guys, guys, yeah. how come the clouds fell down? The clouds fell down? Mm -hmm. All over the ground, white and fluffy. There's clouds all over the ground. Snow! Zabu's talking about snow, not clouds. Yeah, yeah, and in the clouds, uh, I mean the snow, a creature ran around. I couldn't believe my mind! Who? What? No, who? Who? Yahoo! What are you so happy about? No, not Yahoo! But who? Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He was in the snow, always in the snow, except when he was in the trees. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. He's a leaper, but not a lemur. Swinger, do you know who he is? You know what? I've got it. It's got to be some kind of monkey. Yeah, but what kind of monkey? Hey, uh, monkey. 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 It's a snow monkey. She's very playful. <laughs> yeah, that's a Japanese macaque. All right. Manga Snoka, Manga Snoka. She's on the move. Whoa. Snow monkeys are fast. Hey, hop on me. Whoa, you got me. Whoa. She's strong for a little monkey. <laughs> Snow monkeys are one of the smartest monkeys in the creature world. They're from Japan. Some Japanese macaques live high in the mountains and spend the whole winter outside in the snow. She's cold as an ice cube. What could warm her up? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Don't you want to play? Whew, ice cubes are cold. 
Do you want to play a joke on my brother? Okay. Come on. So we have a cold solo. What could warm her up? Woo! <laughs> when Chris has an ice cube down in his shirt, he jumps around just like a lemur. Woo! How does it feel, Chris? Cold, cold. Woo! <laughs> now that is cold. <laughs> I'm gonna get my brother back. But first things first, we have to warm this snow monkey up. Hey, Zob, is Snowmo getting any warmer? Did you get warm yet? Oh, she's still cold. Hmm. I wonder how we can warm her up. Hey, hey, come back here. Where are you going? Whoa. She's fast. Zabu Snowmo sure loves to play. She sure does. Chris, I've got an idea. That's how we can get her warm. How? Playing. Great idea, Zabu. Let's play. <laughs> she likes to swing. <laughs> and Chris is swinging too. So am I. Funny how monkeys can scratch their head with their feet? It really works. I'm scratching my head with my feet, Snowmo. Oh, yeah. Don't get your toes stuck. I'm so hot, I'm sweating. But Snowmo is still cold. I don't get it. How will we warm a snow monkey up? Hey, Zabu. Uh -huh. Look at Snowmo's tail. It's short and stubby. Oh my gosh, mine's long. <laughs> I like my tail when I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Snowmo swinging on my tail. <laughs> it's cold, huh? <laughs> no wonder why you're so cold. You've been out in the snow all day. Great hands for grabbing onto things, just like we do. Grabby, grabby hands. <laughs> I've got grabby, grabby hands too! <laughs> Her hands are really cold still. I know, I, I know. It. She's not warm yet. I don't know how we're gonna warm her up, Zob. I'll have to think of something. Hmm. How about this? In the wild, snow monkeys eat bark through the winter. Hey, and maybe that's how they keep warm. Oh, but we don't have the right kind of bark here in Animal Junction. You know what, Snowmo? I had a friend with a different problem. He was warm and wanted to get cold. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bounced into sense it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where you're going, Zabu, see? He blurped. Hi, sense it. Hi, Zabu. Say, did you see the great snow lemur? Who? You know, he lives on top of Mount Sabumafu. <laughs> then what's he doing right behind you? Oh. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, don't sneak up on a guy like that, yeah. What are you doing behind me, anyhow? I'm here on vacation, but it's too hot here. I like the cold. I like the snow. I have to go. Well, don't go. I know how to keep you cold. How about this giant ice fruitcake? We'll hop up here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel so it. I learned how to cool a friend down. We are like it, nice and cold. But I didn't learn how to warm a friend up. The end. <laughs> and you're still cold as an ice cube. Still as cold as an ice cube, huh? Do you want to get Chris again? Okay, come on. Martin. We have to figure out a way to warm up Snowmo. Oh, I know. Yeah. We tried playing. Didn't work. Nope, didn't work. We tried giving her something to eat. Didn't work. Nope, didn't work. She's still as cold as a... Ice cow. Ow. Ow. Not again. <laughs> Martin gotcha. <laughs> Chris is as cold as you, monkey. <laughs> you got me. I am going to get Martin back. But first things first, we have a snow monkey to warm up. Hey, Martin. Oh, hi, Snowmo. What's up? 
why don't we put some stuff on Snowmo, like you guys do? You mean these clothes, Lobster? Yeah, clothes. All right, we can try it. What do you think, Snowmo? Yeah, try it. So. What do you think, Snowmo, huh? Maybe that's it. No. Nope. Monkeys don't wear clothes, but they live outside all winter long. What's their secret? Well, their fur is thick and warm. That helps. But for some reason, our little snow monkey's still cold. Hey, Chris, remember the bison we saw? They had big chunks of ice on their fur. Yeah, and they were hanging out around the hot springs to keep warm. The hot steam was making them nice and warm and cozy. That's it. That's it. Martin, I can't believe we forgot. What? Somebody, kill me. Yeah, it's the most amazing thing. What is? When it gets really cold, snow monkeys go to natural hot springs. They soak in the hot water, and that's how they stay warm through the coldest winters. Nothing warms up a snow monkey like a hot bath. So let's do what the snow monkeys do. <laughs> 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 Let's fire it up. It's hot tub time. Hey, it's warm. Just the way I like it, nice and warm. Ah, uh, this should do it, Martin. This water's perfect for a snow monkey. Come on in, Snowmo. Here she is. Oh, come on. Oops. I found Snowmo. <laughs> Snowmo, you want a grape in the hot tub? <laughs> Is she gonna get in? Come on in, Snowmo. You're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, huh? Yeah, come on in. Here. Hey, she's warming in her face for starters. <laughs> oh, who needs water when you can spin um, 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 to get warm? Um, 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 um. All right, Snowmo. So, are you getting any warmer? Huh? It's bath time. Is she getting any warmer? Yeah, what, what do you think, Zop? So? I don't know, Martin. I think she wants to hug me. <laughs> Fuzzy, furry lemur hugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Be later. <laughs> Upsie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm giving her a lemur back ride. <laughs> go, Zabu, go! Hey, she's got my nose. She's got my nose. Uh, hey, hey, her hands are getting warm. <laughs> <laughs> she sure likes hugging, and she's a lot warmer. <laughs> Maybe hugging's the secret, Zop. Yeah, I think it's hugging. I think hugging's gonna warm her up. Huh. I'm gonna go hug with her. Hey, Snowmo, wait up. I'm gonna hug on you. Snowmo wants to hug on me. Hmm? I'm getting warm just watching him. The hugging worked. She's warm now. I love you, Snowmo. Yay! Hooray! The hugging work! She's warm now, she's warm now, really! I feel snow monkeyish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel snow monkeyish. How about you, snow monkeyish? Feeling snow monkeyish. Snow, snow, monkey in the snow. When it's cold outside, I know where to go. Monkeyish, feeling snow monkeyish. Snow, snow, monkey in the snow. When it's cold outside, I know where to go. Yeah. Wow. Snow monkeyish. Feeling snow monkeyish can really wear you out. Sure can. Hang on, I'm just the thing. Remember how I said I'd get Martin back? You want to play a joke on him with me? Great, look at this. Now this is a giant ice cube. Hey Martin, come on over, have a seat. Oh, thanks Chris. 
is exactly what I need. Icarus, is it just me? Or is this seat as cold as an ice cube? <laughs> 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 Chris gotcha. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> hey, Snowmo, where are you going? Hey, guys, I think Snowmo is getting ready to go. Bye, Snowmo. Bye, Snowmo. Thanks for coming by. She's a great climber. There she goes, up and out into the trees. And here comes a great flyer. Incoming Falcon. Duck! <laughs> Monk, Chica, does this look like a duck to you? <laughs> Not to me, Zod. This looks like a lantern falcon. Wow, and she brought a message from Jackie. Oh, let's see it. It's cold, though, but I'm hot because we're digging a creature trail. When the snow gets too deep, it's too hard for animals to get around. Small animals have a hard time in the snow, and so do some big animals. This trail will make it easier for them so they can find food and get home again. But I gotta get home now to shovel the walk for mom and dad. You know me, animals first. Mom Tundra! Hey Chris, hey Mark. There are lots of snow animals who don't need my shovel, like polar bears. How do they do it? What do you think, Chris? Let's go way up north to the land of ice and snow. To, to the, the polar, polar bears. bears! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Have you ever heard of snow dogs? This is a Siberian husky named Raz. And he loves to run in the snow. So does the rest of the team. And these snow dogs are going to take us to the land of the snow bear. Better known as the polar bear. You ready? Let's go! Hey, who? Hubba, hubba, hike! Come on, Chris! Woo-hoo! Whoa! Yeah. These snow dogs can really run! Hike! Let's go, guys! Come on, go, go! Dig, dig, dig! Come on, guys, let's go, go! Siberian huskies are incredible! They can run for 50 miles! Yeah, they're really fast! I hope we find a polar bear soon, because I can't keep up this pace for long! Forget about that for a second, Martin! I just hope we can handle this turn! Hang on! <laughs> what a wipeout! Now we really are snow people! <laughs> there they are! The snow bears. Wow, a mother and two cubs. You think we're giving her enough space, Chris? Yeah, I think it's perfect. When you're watching a bear in the wild, especially a mother with cubs, make sure you give her a lot of space. That way, you can take a nice, long, and close look without bothering the bears. Wow. They're hunkering down. Snow bears are called polar bears because they live so close to the North Pole. And the North Pole is one of the coldest places on Earth. So how do polar bears do it? How do they stay warm living in such a cold place? You see, polar bears have special fur that holds warm air inside each hair. That keeps polar bears warm, warmer than the warmest winter jacket. And when it gets really cold, a polar bear digs a nice warm spot in the snow and hunkers down in it. It's kind of like a snow fort. 
Hey, Chris, you have room for one more? Wait, it's not ready yet. It's slippery. Oops. Now we're really snow people. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Wrestling like a polar bear is another way to stay warm. <laughs> Playing like polar bears can really get you pooped. Yeah, but brother of mine, we can't rest now. You know why? Because it's our turn to pull the sled. And the snow dog's turn to rest. I think Raz wants a ride. Hey, who? Hubba, hubba, hike! hike. I could use a hot tub after this. Tell me about it. <laughs> Woo, we made it! Back at Animal Junction. Hey, this stuff is pretty cool. Are you sure you want to catch it with your mouth? Okay, here it goes. One, two, Whoa, three. Snow dog. Catch! <laughs> oh. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> the snow dogs love to eat the snowballs. I keep throwing them, and they keep eating them. <laughs> well, this is my kind of game. Cool and snowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof! Yeah. <laughs> hey, snow dogs. Catch! <laughs> you really do like eating these. Here goes our catch. Oof! Uh -oh. Snowballs! Catch! <laughs> <laughs> and these aren't just any dogs. These are Arctic wolves. Maybe you call them Arctic wolves, but I know what they call each other. <laughs> these wolves howl to tell each other where they are. Like there's one over there in the cave. Oh, I'm telling them where I am. Oh, it's important because wolves live in families called packs. They howl to keep track of each other. Ooh. Let's howl like wolves. Hey, they're climbing up the rocks. Just like I did in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap. Leap, leap. And then I stopped because I wanted to climb to the top of Mount Zabumafu. <laughs> Zabu! And then Wiggy flew by. <laughs> I want to go too! <laughs> but Wiggy, it's very cold on top of Mount Zabumafu. I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. Oh, wait! My feathers look at me warm! Oh, yeah? Well, then, let's go! Oh, wait for me! I want to go, too! Oh, but, Goobo, it's very cold on Mount Zabumufu. Oh, oh, Wiggy oh. has feathers to keep her warm, and I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you! Oh, that's no problem, Zabu! Oh, I've been eating Goobo berries all day, so my fat will keep me warm! Oh, yeah? Well, then, let's go! Oh, but I might need some help. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. And as we climbed, it got colder I like climbing. and colder and colder. But our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Uh, I, uh, ho! Oh. It was Snow Lemur. And we all jumped around on the top of Mount Sabumufu and had a lot of fun. <laughs> the end. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hey, it looks like the wolves might den up in the cave for a while. Today was a great day. Hey, Martin, my favorite was playing with Snow Mo. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and you know what my favorite part of the day was? Hanging out with the snow wolves. Oh, and my favorite part of the day was checking out the polar bears and dog sledding. I think the dog really liked it when he got to ride the sled and we were the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his fiery behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names 
But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah. Hey, Sabu, are snow peas your friends? Snow peas? I love snow peas. <laughs> Oh, Chris, I'm not going. Why not, Sob? It's too, uh, uh, snow. Want to stay here, then? We'll camp out till the snow melts. Excuse me. Guess that means yes. Just waiting out the snowstorm. With the tarantula. I'm Alex, and this is my snow dog, Rascal. Go <laughs> long, Martin! I'm open! Huh? Ah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right! Great catch, Martin. Nice throw, Chris. <laughs> my brother and I make a great team. And you're part of the team, too. But somebody's missing. Sabu Mafu! Sabu! Hey, Sabu! Sabu. Hey, hey, Sabu! How you doing, buddy? Good to see ya. I'll get Sabu a snack. <laughs> Sabu's got a strong grip. Sweet potatoes. Whoa, strong feet. Hey, Zavu, I've got some sweet potato. Want a piece? There you go. <laughs> yeah, Zavu loves sweet potato. <laughs> Excuse me. Zavu, my boo! Hey, well, what's that? It's a ball, Zavu. Oh, well, can I eat it? Sabu, you can't eat a ball. <laughs> ball, not fruity. And you don't eat it, you play catch with it. Catch, catch? What's catch? That's what we're doing now, Zob. We're playing catch. And you are the lemur in the middle. Oh, catch. I'm the lemur in the middle, and we're playing catch. I want to catch. I want to catch. Have you ever played catch with a lemur? <laughs> yeah. Catch, catch. Throw it to me, and I'll... <sighs> Sorry, Zob. Catch. Catch. Catch? I know somebody who could catch. Yeah, yeah, he caught a bug, and then he ate it. Who? A creature with a tail and hands. I can't believe my mind, he could catch. Yeah. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a long tail. A tail as long as my tail. And then he stepped on it. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. There was a bug, and he grabbed at it with his hands. What kind of a creature grabs with his hands? This mystery! He's a funny, wrinkly-faced creature. Um, do you know who he is? Okay, okay. A scrunchy, wrinkly face. Like this. <laughs> a long, grabby tail and little people hands that grab onto things, too. Then the mystery animal must be... A monkey! Monkey, monkey at Zika! Hey, why didn't I say manga chica? Hey, how you doing? Because a monkey's here. I knew it all along. This monkey is a white-fronted capuchin. And he's on the search for something. I wonder what he's looking for. This monkey is on a mission, but... I wonder what this monkey is searching for. 
are you looking for? Hey, maybe he's itchy and he's just looking for a good scratch. Huh? Monkeys groom each other's fur and pick out all the dirt, dust, and bugs. What are you looking for? A good grooming isn't what he's looking for. So what is he looking for? He's thirsty. Maybe that's it. Was that what you were looking for? No, he's still looking for something. What is it, pal? What are you looking for? You found a bean. Is that it? Nope. He wasn't looking for a bean. We've got to figure this out. No! Oh, use your creature sense! My creature sense is tingling. <laughs> what was that? Who threw that? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. The monkey? He can throw? Oh, yeah. He can throw, all right? Just like a ball player. But can a monkey catch? That's the question. He caught a bug in the woods. Well, there's one way to find out. One, two, three. I can't believe my mind. Did you see that? He can catch. Whoa, whoa. this guy's got good hands. Yeah. Fling. Catch. Fling. Catch. He throws and catches. Well, throw it back. Oof! I'm okay, I'm okay. Fling! <sighs> Cut it! Fling! <laughs> Catch and fling! Catch and fling! Catch and fling! He likes it. I'm gonna call him Fling. Good name, Zab. I'm Zabu. You're a fling. Fling can throw, but I know someone who had trouble throwing in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap. Leap, leap, when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Google and crying. What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? <laughs> We're trying to play catch with the Googleberry, but I can't throw. My arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. Nope. <laughs> I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, oh. hey, here we go. And I'm the lever in the middle. <laughs> Oh, nice catch! It worked! I can play! Oh, let's do it again! So we played Goobleberry Catch all day! And I was the lemur in the middle! Here, catch! The end! Hey, Zob, Fling's on the move again. I wonder where he's going. Where are you going, Fling? Huh? What's this capuchin monkey looking for? Wait a minute. Where did Fling go? He's right here, Zav. <gasps> He's playing hide and seek. But what is he looking for? What are you looking for? Oh, uh, he's going everywhere. <laughs> That's it. Fling's hungry. Oh, I get it. Fling must be looking for food. See, Fling is a white-fronted capuchin. And like all capuchin monkeys, he searches the forest looking for food. Yeah, like those white-faced capuchin monkeys we saw in the rainforest. Oh, who could forget those? There were about 20 of them, and they were all hungry. Yeah, they ripped into the trees looking for tasty bugs to eat. Whatever wasn't good to eat, they just threw away. Martin, is there food in your picture-taking thingy? No! My camera! Don't fling it, fling! Nice catch. That was a close one. Yeah. But it's not over yet. Incoming! Ah! Ah! Oh. Nice catch, Chris. Got it. Ah! Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. Throw me, monkey. I want to fly. He's hungry for something. 
and we've got to figure out exactly what he's hungry for. <laughs> throw me! Throw me! Throw me far! Yes, wee! Whoa! Fling flung you far! What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? I think he's flinging. <laughs> He's not hungry for a pie. I know Fling will fling it, but how do you think Chris will catch a pie? Hey, Fling! <laughs> now I know how Chris catches pies with his face. <laughs> Did you see that, Martin? Chris catches pies with his face. <laughs> nice catch, Chris. And nice throw, Fling. <laughs> what a nutty monkey. Nuts. Maybe that's it. Fling wants nuts. He's gonna go for it! He's pushing the button! <laughs> Fling made it rain nuts! He likes nuts as much as I do! You're right, Zabu. Fling was hungry for nuts. <laughs> How about you monkeys love nuts? Nuts. That's why Fling was flinging things. Hey, Fling. Fling us some nuts. Right. <laughs> Chris can catch with his face. Let's see if he can catch with his mouth. <laughs> Fling sure made a mess. That's because when a monkey is searching for something, he tears up the forest. When wild monkeys are hungry, they won't stop looking until they fill their bellies. And you know, as funny as monkeys are, this kind of mess is exactly one of the reasons people shouldn't keep monkeys as pets. Because monkeys mess up a room just like they mess up a forest. <laughs> and the other reason, which is really the most important, is that monkeys are happiest in their forest home. Living free and in the wild. I'm feeling kind of monkeyish. I'm really feeling monkeyish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel monkeyish. How about you? Monkeyish. Woo, 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 woo. Monkeyish. Fun, 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 monkeyish. I'm a quick handed monkey flinging things around! Monkey ish! Incoming! Hit the dirt! Duck! <laughs> Hi, Sandstorm. She's a lantern falcon. Ball? It's not fruity. You wanna play catch? Oh, can birds fling things? Hmm. I don't think. Whoa! The creature world's full of surprises. And so is Jackie. Alexandra and I caught these frogs down in Mud Puppy Pond yesterday. We made them this nice home. But do you think they're happy? I don't think so. They were happier in Mud Puppy Pond. That's their natural home. So we're going to take them home. Come on! They'd rather be at their house than your house. And their house is Mud Puppy Pond. to eat. This is where our frog's the happiest, living free and in the wild. And that's what we're going to do, take Fling back to his forest home. Because that's where he's the happiest, living free and in the wild. Is that going to be the trip? Yup. Let's get ready. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. You ready? Here goes. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. What do we need out of the closet anyway? <laughs> Maps and a compass. These are the tools we'll need to find Fling's forest home. There's one more thing we need. Thing, thing. I know it rhymes with thing. What could it be? A little monkey named Fling. Hey, have you seen him? Oh, yeah, 
There he is, hey buddy. <laughs> Let's go. All right, come on. Let's go. This way. They're going on a cool adventure on, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Come on, Flink. When you're on an adventure and you're trying to find a certain forest, you need maps to show you which way to go and a compass to point you in the right direction. But a compass is a really delicate instrument. And if it gets broken, we could get lost. So we have to be very careful with it. And I'm going to put it right over here while Chris and I look at the maps. Okay, so let's see. I think if we head north and go past Tinker Creek, we might get there. Yeah, that could do it. Let's head out. Sounds good. You got the compass? Mm -hmm. That's the way we should go. Come on, Fling, this way. All right. Hey, hold a second. Compass says we should be going that way. Wait, shouldn't we be going this way? No, look. That way. Okay. Hurry up, Fling. When a monkey's walking home, he's not always walking. These monkeys like to climb and swing through the trees. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Get off my leg. Hey, Martin monkeys. But they're not capuchin monkeys. They're red howler monkeys. And this isn't Fling's home forest either. You're right, Chris. Hey, my compass is missing. Something funny's going on around here. Something like that. Fling! <laughs> you just can't stop flinging things. <laughs> he broke it. No wonder we kept getting lost. Well, it's a good thing creature adventures always carry a spare compass. All right, so now we can figure out where we're really going. That was a good idea, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so Fling's forest home is definitely that way. We're almost there. Look! White-fronted capuchins! We found Fling's family! He knows we're in the right place. Bye, Fling. See you again sometime. The best place for a monkey, and the place a monkey's the happiest, is right here, living free and in the wild. This is his home. And now that we've returned Fling to the place where he's the happiest, let's head back to a place where we're always happy. Animal Junction! Wait till we tell Zabu about Wait a second. Do you hear something? You guys are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, this Something's good. going on in there. <laughs> Let's find out what. Oh, nice catch. Yeah, over here I'm open. Not again, duck! Oh, he meant that kind of duck, not that kind of duck. <laughs> Banana cream. Martin, wipe that pie out of your eyes, because he's not going to believe this. It's Monkey Junction! <laughs> Monkeys. Here's another kind. Owl monkey. And a swinging baboon. This is a squirrel monkey. They're fast grabbing little fruit eaters. Wait a second. Is he a squirrel or a monkey? <laughs> he's the size of a squirrel, but he's all monkey. And he doesn't bury nuts like a squirrel. He eats them. Look at how he gobbles up that crepe. 
Squirrel monkeys are great in the trees. They scramble around on the branches. A lot like squirrels do. Baboons hang out in big groups called troops, and they wander around the savanna together searching for food. The food can be scarce, so when a baboon finds some, he really stuffs his face. It's amazing how baboons can stuff so much food in their cheek. Here, Ruddy, you want some? They just put it in there and save it for later. You want some more? Just not. I can see why they're named owl monkeys. Look at those huge eyes. They're just like big owl eyes. Great for seeing at night. Owl monkeys are the only nocturnal monkeys in the world. That means they're active at night, and that's why they're called owl monkeys. Look at him go! Watch out! What got into these monkeys? Hey, you wanna play Frisbee now too? I thought Fling messed up Animal Junction before, but look what a mess many monkeys make. Well, you know the old saying, the more monkeys, the more mess. Do you know what time it is when you see a baboon with a basketball? Time to play ball. Yeah! Over here. I know somebody who could catch who lived in Zabu land. I was leap, leap, leaping along, leap, when all of a sudden, I bumped into Narchi. Oof! <laughs> Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Great to see you. Hey, Zabu, want to play Goobleberry Ball? <laughs> sure, I said. So we played. I threw the Goobleberry Ball to Narchi, and he threw it back to me. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Zabu, catch this. <laughs> it's my super duper double looper. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Uh oh. That was our only Goobleberry. How are we gonna play now? But oh. suddenly, hey. the Goobleberry oh, blew right back to us. Hey, hey where did that come from? Uh, who blew that Goobleberry? Nobody. Okay, then, uh, who threw it? Me. Who's me? Yeah, who's me? Me. Phoebe. Huh? Phoebe was shy and wouldn't come out of the water. But that was okay, because every time our ball went splash, Fibby got it. And we played loop-de-loop -loop ball all day long. Hey, Fibby, throw it over. Yeah, throw it back. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Hey, the monkeys are on the move. Guess they're going back to their forest homes. Goodbye, owl monkey. Bye, squirrel monkey. See you, baboon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's three different types of monkey. And did you know there are about 133 different kinds of monkeys in the world? And they all look so different. Some are big, some are small. Some have lots of fur, some don't. Some have small noses, and some have really big ones. But there's one thing that all monkeys do the same. Oh, oh, one thing is they come to Animal Junction. Right, and <laughs> monkeys make a mess. You know what my favorite part of the day was? This part. When the Krat Brothers catch pies with their faces. <laughs> I love banana cream pies. <laughs> and mischievous monkeys. And lemurs who fling things. Hey, that was my favorite part. 
the hilarious way those monkeys threw things. And I was glad we helped Fling Fling, I mean find, his way back home to the wild where all monkeys belong. This animal is a friend of mine, from the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go, go make an animal friend, friend today. today! Yeah! Ooh, banana! <coughs> Give me, see ya! Bye, Zabu! See you later, Zabu! And we better get bouncing, too! <laughs> Hey, buddy! Buddy, with a plate! I'm Isaac. This is my pet chicken.